This essay is entitled Enzymes and Their Importance in Plants and Animals. Let's just remind ourselves what we're looking for. We're looking for an essay with at least four distinct areas from across the specification. So that means you can't write about two of the areas within the same subsection of the specification. Let's quickly remind ourselves how the essay is marked. The examiner will read the whole essay through. Then they will look and see, does it meet band one to five? If it does, then they'll have a look, does it meet the criteria in band six to 10? If it does, they'll move to 11 to 15 and so on. Once a band is decided on, then a mark is decided. Let's look at that first band. It says that the response only indirectly addresses the theme of the question. Before we go any further, let's consider is writing an essay on the role of enzymes the same as writing the, an essay on the importance of? Clearly, it's not. And as the criteria says, the response only indirectly addresses the theme of the question. Well, what they mean by the theme of the question is the importance of or the role of. An easy way to talk about the importance of as opposed to the role of is to talk about what would happen if we didn't have that enzyme. In our essay, by discussing the consequences of not having the enzyme, it draws us away from the tendency to talk about just the role of the enzyme. There are lots of other things in this essay that we could focus on. However, we're just going to focus on how do they bring it back to the importance of. Before we dive into the essay, let's just remind ourselves of a few basics. If you only do one or two topics from the specification, the maximum mark you can get is 10. However, it's worth bearing in mind that even if you do four, five or six magnificent paragraphs of different topics across the specification, if it's also got a lot of irrelevant material in there, the maximum you can get is 15. Irrelevance is anything that doesn't answer the question. So this can be everything you know about the topic. So for example, writing everything you know about enzymes could be considered irrelevant if it's not ask, answering the question about the importance of enzymes in plants and animals. Pause the video and read the student response. This is the first paragraph. I've broke it down into three portions just for ease of reading. The student has not included an introduction to the essay. This is good. You're under no obligation to provide an introduction nor a conclusion. The student also goes straight into A-level content. This is not a paragraph that could be written by a good GCSE student or someone who just had a good command of the topic of biology. The first part of the paragraph adds context to the other two. However, under times constraints, I'm not quite sure that this student would be able to write quite so much. Remember, it's better to write about four or five different topics across the specification, perhaps not as well as you would like, rather than writing one in great depth and detail. Because by writing only about two topics, the highest mark you can get is 10. It doesn't matter how fabulous you've written them. I like that the student has had commitment to her knowledge and confidence in herself to name the enzymes that she's talking about. However, a lot of the information in paragraph two could be deemed as irrelevant because it doesn't actually talk about the importance. The last part of the paragraph does begin to talk about the importance of the enzyme. However, it's rather superficial. The student's written the correct information, but it's in the wrong context. The student would have been better to have written how alpha amylase is the enzyme involved in breaking starch to glucose. Without it, there wouldn't be any glucose. There wouldn't be anything for, there wouldn't be any glucose as the main source of energy during its early development, and therefore the seed wouldn't germinate. The last two sentences of the paragraph, which try to talk about the importance of glucose in terms of growth, repair, and respiration, are not of A level standard. In talking about the enzymes responsible for releasing glucose, students should have then talked about a lack of glucose being available for glycolysis. Of course, we can use other respiratory substrates as fuels, and so in talking about these specific enzymes, it might have been better to refer to the fact that glucose is the only respiratory fuel available to the brain. 
Assuming there were more paragraphs like this one, I would say that so far we were in the 11 to 15 band. We have got a suitable topic. The link isn't really strong enough to the theme of the question yet. In other words, the importance. We're still very much talking about the role. We do have A-level content and we do have some slightly irrelevant information. This second paragraph follows nicely on from the first. However, there is no reason to do this. Although in the rubric, the marking guidelines, it says that paragraphs are linked, they actually mean linked to the essay title. You can have four distinct paragraphs that do not follow on from each other at all. The student moves straight into A-level content. Again, this is clearly the work of an A-level student and not just a G good GCSE one. However, it's only in the second paragraph where the student attempts to make a tenuous link to the theme of the question. And following such a lot of strong A-level content, the link to the theme of the question is superficial and not at A-level standard. She said that the collective working of the coenzymes and ATP synthase enzyme together allow for organisms to respire and for plants to photosynthesize. Without these enzymes, we as organisms and plants would not be able to respire, thus leading to death. It's all very dramatic. The student has all the information, but the way they've written it is if the enzyme was there. What would happen if the enzyme wasn't? For instance, let's reword that first sentence of the second paragraph. The NAD carrier works with dehydrogenase enzymes that catalyse the removal of hydrogen atoms from substrates. It would be better if we said, without dehydrogenase enzymes, we wouldn't be able to catalyse the removal of hydrogen atoms from substrates. That actually answers the question. We could then add that we wouldn't be able to transfer them to other molecules involved in the final stages of respiration, in other words, oxidative phosphorylation. The protons wouldn't be able to then diffuse through the ATP synthase channel, and so on. So throughout the paragraph, we need to be talking about the importance of, i.e. what would happen if we didn't have it, rather than a weak, tenuous link at the bottom of the page. Take a minute to read the third paragraph. The beginning of this paragraph starts with some irrelevant information. It should start with the hormone adrenaline will bind to the transmembrane protein receptor on a liver cell. That would be a better entry point to this paragraph. The sentences that follow are clearly A level level. However, when we start to talk about the importance, we once again go back to a GCSE standard. The last part of the second paragraph on this page could have been written by a GCSE student. It would have been much better if the student had actually discussed why a second messenger model is necessary and what are the benefits of it. Pause the video to read this next part of the essay. Clearly lots of A-level content, semi-conservative replication, naming the enzymes, DNA helic helicase, clearly commitment to their knowledge and confidence in writing it down in their essay. Fabulous. And of course, any essay that includes information on DNA, transcription, translation, RNA, any of those topics are really good to include because generally people aren't able to write about them if they haven't studied it at A-level biology. This second part of the paragraph has a much stronger link to the theme of the question, i.e. the importance. And that's because it says, had enzymes not contributed to protein synthesis and DNA replication, we would not be able to pass on our genetic information for growth and repair, nor to our offspring. And it talks about increasing the risk of mutation if they don't work properly. So in this paragraph, we see a stronger link to the theme of the question. Take a minute to pause the video and read this final paragraph. And as you will read through it, you'll see that a lot more of the writing is dedicated to actually answering the question. We've got an explanation and we've got in-depth explanation, but it then goes on to tell us in the second part of the paragraph what will happen if we didn't have these enzymes. Here it says not only is the enzyme important in allowing the impulse to travel across the synapse by regenerating the acetylcholine, 
but the rapid rate at which the enzyme works in hydrolyzing the acetylcholine prevents a continuous generation of an action potential in the postsynaptic neuron. Okay, so it then goes on to explain a little bit more about why that is important to us. However, the end bit where it talks about uh, will be incorrect, resulting in permanent damage or death, is a little bit dramatic. And should be avoided because, of course, we don't always have to talk about the importance to the organism overall. We're talking about the importance to the process. This essay is most likely to be awarded 20 out of 25. The response does link several topics to the main theme of the question, which is the importance, and the biology is of A-level standard and does contain correct terminology. We can't say it's in that top band because there are some areas where they talk about irrelevant material and too much explanation about what the enzyme does without reference to its importance does take place in a number of paragraphs. So we're not in that top band, but we're very firmly in the 16 to 20, and that's why I would award it 20 out of 25. So once again, when writing about the importance, remember that it's more than a cursory sentence at the end of your paragraph. The whole paragraph really should be angled around the importance. How do you do that? You discuss what would happen if you didn't have that particular thing that you're talking about. In this case, it was an enzyme. Not all your um, importance paragraphs are going to end in um, death and destruction to the organism. Why? Because you'll talk about the importance to the process. What will happen in that particular process if you don't have that enzyme? So let's just have a quick recap. No introduction, no conclusion. No fluffy bits, no GCSE. Straight into A-level content. The essay is synoptic. So we need at least four distinct areas from across the specification. The areas do not need to be linked. Link each paragraph to the theme of the question, which is the importance of. Stay away from writing irrelevant material.